Hello everybody, this is Minecralix here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Diamond Super Flat Survival. And in this, uh, and, and in this episode, we're going to be going to the nether. Oh, there's a spider over there. Let me just uh, kill him. Oh, there's two of them. So, uh, anyway, let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders up there. Is there any more? Oh. Well, good thing. Okay, so we got some creepers over there. Uh, now, so like I said, in this episode we're going to be going to the nether. I have been doing some preparations off camera to prepare myself to go to the nether. Uh, one of my preparations is right here, I'm making some charcoal. I'm going to have 32 pieces of charcoal, which is enough to make, um, I think, two stacks of... Uh, two stacks of torches it's gonna be pretty useful in the nether although the nether has a lot of um, lava you still need torches there so uh, let me just uh, craft some more sticks uh, there you go nice okay we're gonna need a little bit more uh, there we go 32 so that should make that should give us two stacks yep there we go we got two additional stacks of torches so uh, let me just put down the additional torches right here that's just gonna be uh, for when we come back from the nether. Oh, we got some string from that spider. Let me just put it in my uh, mob, mob drops chest. So anyway, uh, I think the best thing to do right now would be to sleep because I don't feel like going out there with all these zombies over there. Um, oh, actually, another thing that we could do is, uh, let's see. Yes, so in the last episode, I think it's in the last episode, I got a bucket, uh, and in it I put some lava from the faraway village where we found a bunch of iron in it. Um, now, I have read some of your comments, a lot of you have been telling me to craft a flint and steel to ignite uh, my nether portal, but I still do want to keep these uh, iron ingots with me because I think it's just much better to have lava ignite the portal instead of using uh, one iron ingot for the, um, for the flint and steel just because iron ingots in this world are so expensive to me I do not want to lose them. Uh, what if I'm gonna need an iron ingot for say, uh, what if I'm gonna need to make an iron sword or what if I'm gonna need to make some uh, a trip wire then this is gonna come in much more handy and besides I don't have to have a flint and steel to light it I can circumvent that by using uh, lava so now another thing that I was thinking about is oh wow it's morning already okay anyway so I was thinking oh there's a skeleton yeah he, I wonder he might yeah he's probably gonna shoot at us from up uh, from down there we got some enderman over there uh, better not look at him uh, so anyway uh, well, I hope he doesn't come here. I don't... Well, I don't think he will. Where did he go? Okay, anyway, so I've been kind of thinking about... Is he down there? Yep, he's down there. Well, maybe we could kill him and get some, uh... Maybe we could kill him and get some, uh, ender pearls. Where did he transport now? Well, I can still hear him, so... We're definitely going to have to get rid of him. Anyway, so I've been thinking about either having to cast the two upper parts, uh, the two upper blocks of the obsidian, uh, of the obsidian in the nether portal, and that's... I can do that by building this support structure out here, and then I'm going to pour water on top of a stationary lava block, which will cast the obsidian pieces and... Uh, finish the portal but then I remember that we're in a diamond world and since I have a diamond pickaxe I could mine the obsidian and then get it as an item so what I'm gonna do right now and I'm gonna do it right here in the middle is I'm going to mine down here uh, then I'm going to create a little uh, support structure right here and good thing that we have a three high uh, ceiling right here uh, then let's see then I'm gonna put my lava down over there be careful not to fall in there and then on top of there we're gonna pour water and then that's just gonna turn it into obsidian we're just gonna mine this out and we're gonna be able to get the obsidian by mining it and then i'm just gonna place it as an item over there well f so for now let's see is did the enderman go away yep he did so for that we're gonna be we're gonna have to uh oh yeah i probably should have seen that Oh, he didn't actually explode. That's pretty good. That would have been pretty bad because my chest is over there. He might have destroyed some of my stuff over there. Any creepers over here? Okay, now this is should now this should kill him. There we go. Nice. 
so the reason I went down here is because I needed to get some water. Oh, let's get it from this source right here. Uh, now what I really should should have done is had a water source somewhere over here. So uh, let's see. What can I do? Um, is there... Okay, I'm going to actually have an infinite water source somewhere over here once I move all this lava from here. So uh, I might... Although actually what I might do is I might also have one out here, but I'm not really sure. Ah, uh, there's some water over there. Doesn't really matter. So, uh, okay, let me just uh, pour that on top of there. There we go. Nice, easy, and quick. Now, the more difficult part is going to be mining this obsidian, which, although, is much easier with a diamond pickaxe than with any other pickaxes, because the diamond pickaxe is the only pickaxe that you can mine it. Oh, there we go. That was pretty quick. It still takes quite a long time to mine with diamond uh, with diamond pickaxe. Uh, but of course, it's the only pickaxe that can collect obsidian. So, there we go. Plop that over there. And then, put the last piece. Let me go get some more lava. So, uh, let's see. Water bucket. Or, actually, one thing that I could have done is I could have just poured water on top of here. And then that would have just created obsidian for both of these. But, I don't want to do that because there's one piece of lava that I don't need. I only need two obsidian. I don't need three obsidian. So, as of now, i just rather, uh, you know keep some of that lava intact so uh, since I only have one bucket I'm gonna have to pour the water over here so then collect one lava from here put it over here oh I shouldn't have uh, destroyed these blocks when I put them around and grab my bucket uh, cover that up once more make some more obsidian take back the water mine this out and then collect the obsidian This is taking quite a long time um, compared to all the other blocks that you can mine with a uh, with a diamond pickaxe. Anyway, so oh, I got one gunpowder from that uh, creeper. Oh, and another thing that I did is uh, I think from the last episode when I was mining some of the cobblestone from my uh, my cobblestone mining area down there. I collected quite a bit of cobblestone, and all of this cobblestone, instead of building a wall like I said I would, instead of building a huge walled-in base and a large house for me with the cobblestone, instead of that, I have decided to use this cobblestone to build myself a house in the nether. And that's go and that's the blocks that I'm, these are the blocks I'm going to use as markers in the nether to find my way around. Now hopefully we're going to be able to find some type of uh, nether fortress or something like that because I'm really looking forward to killing some blazes and exploring the nether. Uh, now let's see. Oh yes, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to return this water back right here and I don't want to spill it anywhere so let's just do that. Um, now what I'm going to do is, uh, complete the nether portal and then build around this little structure right here so let's see oh I probably should have well it's gonna take too long to mine this but I just rather have uh, have the portal be di like down there one block down so then you wouldn't have to jump up well I could probably just put some stairs and that would be easier so uh, let's just uh... so I'm gonna put some blocks around here and this is basically gonna be the holding cell for the lava uh, so, let's see. So, I'm going to put around some blocks right here, and then uh, we're going to need the wooden planks. Uh, so, then place some wooden planks around here, around here. Um, or actually, well, the problem is, if I have any blocks over here, then that's not going to light the nether portal. But if I don't have blocks over here, then the lava is just going to flow inside here, and that's going to uh, deactivate the portal itself. Oh, it's midday. I hope I still have some time. Wow, my hunger's going down pretty quickly. So, uh, let's see. Um, how can we do this? Uh, well, I think I'm going to have to actually do this, so... Let's see. And then I'm going to go ahead. And if all else fails, then I'm just going to craft a flint and steel. And then I'm just going to have to go run and take that uh, la one lava source that I have there. Pour the lava right over here. 
Now, hopefully, it's going to ignite uh, the, the planks on top of it, but I'm not sure. Uh, now, in theory, this should ignite the planks over here, which would ignite the planks... Uh, which would uh, possibly ignite the planks over here. Although, I'm not sure. I remember that I... I used to do this many, many times, but I still don't remember exactly how I actually did it. Well, let's just leave it to its own, uh, let's just leave it to its own proceeding, and then it's just gonna, uh, continue being here. Now, hopefully, this is gonna light the wood planks around it, uh, and then I'm just gonna go and, uh, do something else. So, let's see. Well, what can I do? Um, now... I should probably modernize my base a little bit now that there's no lava here. I'm gonna uh, mine out this area, so I'm gonna have a little bit more room for my base. Let me just uh, widen the ceiling over here. Uh, now these, um, I'll just leave this over here. This looks like a really, like a really nice uh, little window here. So uh, I'm probably gonna move this uh, this crafting table right over here just for ease. Um, now, I could probably add another chest or something over here, but I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I think we have something lighted. Oh, let's see, let's see, did it light the portal? Well, kind of, uh... A little bit how I expected it to be. Um, yeah, this is not really working out as well as I, uh... So I had thought it would. Now let's see if it actually does light these planks right here. Would the fire from this side actually light the nether portal? Or not? Um, oh, I think I just remembered. Yes, I'm doing this all wrong. I have to do this the other way. So let me just wait till the lava goes down. There we go. Wow. What the heck's happening? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it takes a really long time to, uh, to disappear. And that, that can actually kill you while it's, uh... While the lava is disappearing, you gotta make sure that you're not, like, uh, interfering with it or anything. Um, now, I think I just remembered that the lava is actually supposed to go one level down here. And then instead of that, I'm gonna have the lava flow right here. And then I'm just gonna have, uh, three wooden planks like this. So then, that way, when the lava lights these planks, uh, hopefully the flame... It depends, but the flame can go up here, the flame can go up here, or the flame can go to the side of the lava. And then, oh, there we go. As you can see, it has already, oh, for some reason it ignited this piece of cobblestone. Well, lava does that just randomly. Now, let's hope that this ignites the adjacent um, oak wood plank uh, block, and then that way that's going to ignite the portal. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Now, we, we have to have it ignite the oak wood from this certain point so it has to ignite it from from this end now it might actually burn down the whole thing and then we're just gonna have to redo the whole thing so let me just craft some more planks in case they burn down yep and as you can see this has failed we just have to wait till ignite it ignites a specific part of the block so that we can go to the nether wow is there any more villagers out here because i don't think there is any Okay, well, let's see. What else did we want to do? Um, do we have any stairs? Um, uh, oh, well, we have some slabs. Um, oh, we have actually, we have two iron bars. So let's see. Let's just, uh, let's make a little window right here. I feel like there should be a little window here. Maybe even a little bit right here. So uh, let's just place, I'm just going to have uh, some iron bars right here, and that's going to look good. Awesome. You can see the sunset from here. Beautiful. Now, what I want to do. So, I wanted to take some of these stone slabs, and like I said before, I want to make a little type of, uh, an ascend, ascend up here. So, then that way, let's see. Yes, like this. So, then that way, it's going to be easy to go up into the portal. I'll just... A little bit staircase without actually using stairs oh we got some fire we got some fire let's see let's see uh now yeah of course this process is uh is not the the fastest and the greatest obviously it'd be much easier to light the nether portal with uh, a flint and steel but uh, just because i don't want to use any iron i'll just leave it to that oh 
we got quite a bit of mobs over there uh, so let's see we'll just keep an eye out for them more let's hope we can get critical hits on that zombie oh there we go nice uh, now the reason why I came here is just so I could keep replacing these uh, oak wood planks until it until it burns down or I'm probably just gonna go and sleep real quick so uh, and let's see well I have a bed over here which I could probably use yeah before I wasn't actually able to um, sleep here because it said that the monsters were too nearby so I had to uh, had to make a bed right here and have a little area right here so uh, and this is also just my alternate exit uh, let's see okay well there's there's quite a bit of mobs so let's uh Okay, we got some Endermans pillaging wit. Oh, I think he just took some of the uh, dirt out from uh, the fields. We'll just wait for them to burn down. One thing that did not properly burn down is the freaking thing that I need to burn down. Now, let's hope that... Now, actually, if it doesn't... Um if if by the end of this day it's not able and by the end of this day i mean i'm talking about the minecraft day if by the end of this day it's not able to whoa i was just gonna say that by the end yeah as you can see we have we had to get that slant fire so that it would light the portal on that side okay anyway let me just take that uh take that now let me just uh take the lava um, now we're gonna have to get some kind of lava storage facility for this now I'm gonna create a small type of staircase. Are there any creepers around us? Uh, no, that's pretty good uh, Now like I said, I was gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to make a little lava storage area So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that or maybe what I could do is it looks like I don't really have any torches here So what I'm probably gonna do is uh, let's see I'm gonna put a lava here and Then let's do this there we go. Now this is going to make for a nice lava lamp and a nice design. Let's put... Wow, that looks stylish. And as you can see, no matter how hard I try, it can't fall in the lava. And that's just to make sure that I don't accidentally fall into it because uh, that would suck. Well, anyway, let's keep the stone slabs. Let's see, what else do we need in the nether? Well, hmm. We might need some... I don't think we'll need any stone stairs. Uh, we have enough tools. Uh... We could use a little bit more arrows. Uh, let's see. I don't really need. Oh wow, we have four more iron bars. That's really great. We can make some more. Uh, we can make some more uh, windows with that. Let's just uh, get that 64 wood. Uh, oh, we could use some crafting tables. That's gonna come in handy. We have way too much crafting tables. Oh, I think all these crafting tables are from the. Uh, they're from all the libraries that we raided from all the villages that we went to uh so anyway i was about to say that if this nether portal won't light till the end of this minecraft day that i would craft um i'd craft a flint and steel but as we can see the nether portal was able to be lit so let's just uh, create this little staircase right here and uh let me just decorate this little bit uh ass we gotta get that aesthetic we gotta get those Aesthetics. Um, there you go. Nice. This looks awesome. Now, uh, do we have everything that we need? Yup. Let's go in and let's hope that we have a good spawn. Well, actually, here's one thing. I can't take the bucket with me because what if I die? Then I'm not going to be able to have a bucket, so I'll just have to save that for later. Oh, why, why do we have a block of diamond? Um, yeah, all these things are replaceable because there's quite a high chance that we're going to die once we enter the nether portal. So let's go in, and here we go. Okay, now let's see. The spawn's pretty good. Oh, some of the terrain hasn't loaded yet. I was just confused a little bit. Oh, we got quite a bit of uh, glowstone over there. Uh, let's see. Now we have a big lava lake down there. It's a little bit dark in here. Let's see. Is the darkness set to, uh, um, yeah, the brightness is bright, so, uh, it's good. The nether is actually quite dark, despite the fact that there's, uh, a ton of lava. Now let's see. Now we have a huge lava lake. Oh, wow. There's only one block here. So if a ghast is able to throw a fireball right here, then we could just fall down. Oh, there's, there's, uh, there's there's the magma slime over there where you can get some um, 
magma balls from that, and then we can make fire resistance potions. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's just mine this area around here a little bit. Um, now, I'd like to make this a little bit more secure, so uh, let's see. Or we could just go one level down. No, I'm probably not going to do that, so... Okay, now we have to figure out where do we have to build our house. So, will this be a good place to build a house? Uh, now, let's see. I want to know how deep this goes down. Oh, there's only three blocks here, so... Uh, actually, now that I think about it... Um, oh, wow, we almost fell down there. Uh, can hear quite a bit of gas over there. Let's just go down here a little bit. So, as you can see, we have spawned on a ledge, so that's not really the best place to build a house because, uh, as we know, gas can destroy this uh, island quite quite quickly if they wanted to. But, on the other hand, it is flat uh, and it is close to nether portal, so let's start building a house. So, let's see. Um, now, I'd like to, I'd like it to be something like 5x5, five five, so let's go... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's do it six. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, there we go. Although this is a little bit small, but uh, actually, yeah, this is this is quite small. Well, I gotta kind of hurry up because we we have ghasts waiting to kill us right now, so. I'd appreciate if I'd be able to speed this up a little bit. And obviously, like I do with all my bases, I connect it straight to the nether portal. Actually, the first thing that I should have done, and one thing that I forgot, is I always secure my nether portal. Uh, and I do that by just uh, sealing it off. And uh, although this seems kind of overkill, but you can't, uh, you can't be too sure. So I just... Uh, place another portal all around this little type of uh, cobblestone encasement because uh, you know gas can actually destroy your nether portal if it's uh, if they shoot it out of here and then what that's going to do is that I, that is actually going to um, that's going to lock me in the nether and I'm not gonna be able, and I'm not gonna be able to get out of here unless I die and that's gonna kind of suck so let's see Yes, I also secure this side too, so uh, let me get that, and also secure this end right here too, and then this, this, there's no reason, or yeah, we should probably do that too, and then that way we're going to have this nice portal right here, and then that's going to connect to our main base, so let's we'll just uh, put around the cobblestone right here, and again, I don't want a base too big because uh, obviously these structures use quite a bit of cobblestone, and I don't have that much cobblestone, so let's see. Now, you know, it'd be really nice to have a high ceiling, so, and just to look more symmetric with this structure right here, I'm gonna create a three tall, uh, I mean a four block tall ceiling instead of the usual three high uh, tall ceiling that I usually do, and it just allows a little bit more room to breathe and, and whatnot, so. As you can see, we're gonna have quite a nice space here. Now, pretty much all of the, pretty much all the buildings that I build in Minecraft, uh, their ceiling is right here, and then you can. There's barely any room to jump, uh, but because my current base in the village allows me to jump, and you know, allows me to do a little bit more. Uh, it's it's just a little bit more flexible to have a taller ceiling. It's nice. I usually don't build this, but I will because I have the resources to. Uh, now, anyway, another thing that I have to do is, I in the nether, I always make sure to, to encase my whole house in, uh, in cobblestone, because cobblestone, uh, gas can destroy cobblestone, so I make sure to encase my whole house in cobblestone, just in case, because, also, especially in an environment, because if I mine two blocks down, then there's just a huge pool of lava, so if, uh, if a gas is able to destroy our, um, Floor, then that's gonna be pretty dangerous because I could fall in the lava and potentially die. So uh, now I also like to uh, put cobblestone or all around here, so even on the foundation. So the foundation itself is going to be made of cobblestone. Um, 
Now, of course, this does use quite a bit of cobblestone, but our base is not too big, so uh, I think this will fit perfectly. So we'll just uh, place the floor out here, and now we're gonna have to get another stack. Wow, this cobblestone is going. Uh, these cobblestone stacks are going like hotcakes. Uh, now, of course, I I have the ability to uh, possibly make my base a little bit larger if I want to. Uh, now, let's see. Now, how are we gonna light this thing up? Um, I'll just put a torch every, uh, every two squares, so, uh, nice, now this is all lit up, uh, I'm gonna make a little exit right here, uh, and then I'd just like to have a small, uh, I'd like to have a small type of yard co covered in cobblestone, which is usually gonna be, um, something like this big or something, uh, let's see. Let's just play some, uh, yeah, this is kind of dangerous, I don't like this, but, uh, I can't really do much about it. Now, I've been thinking about, actually, one thing that I can't do is, I can't use, uh, I can't use an iron door, unfortunately, which would be awesome, but, uh, since I don't have any iron, uh, well, I mean, I only have two ingots, so that's definitely not enough, so, let's see, where else can we make an entrance over here, so, well, let's see, this area seems like a good place see probably somewhere right over here this would be a good place yes this seems like a good place to make an entrance right here as well uh, now let's make a little uh, three square cobblestone ledge right here too and that's just to make sure if this whole island gets wiped off which is very unlikely but it can technically happen uh, I'll have some space to stand in case of uh, emergency or anything so now, let's see now, it's necessary to place around all the needed commodities. Now, this is just going to be mostly a hallway. And now that I think about it, oh, is there anything that we need to do? Do we have to make an exit right over there? Oh, well, we can make an exit right over there, but uh, let's see. I think that's just where my uh, main area is going to be. Now, let's just craft a little furnace. Although, I mean, we actually have two furnaces at our base, so it's just better to bring another furnace. Although, on the other hand, I'm kind of lazy to go back and forth from the nether, from the nether so I'll just rather uh, put a furnace here. Uh, now we have a chest, now let's just craft another chest to make it a double chest, uh, for that we need more oak wood planks. Uh, so, obviously, we don't need that much storage in the nether, but I think this will suit us just fine. Um, Although, actually, right here, I'd like these to be a little bit lower just to show that this is this little area. Actually, one thing that I would be awesome is if I was able to add some, um... Now, at my base, I have a couple, um... Iron bars that I could use. That was pretty cool, so... I'm gonna just craft some planks so I can uh, craft some, uh, some doors. Now, we have to craft two doors, so let's just uh, do it like this. Now, we're gonna have them, uh... Actually, I don't like to have my doors like this. I like to have them like this, just so I have extra space here. Uh, okay, now there's quite a bit of uh, darned ghasts spawning, so we can now hear a symphony of uh, ghasts crying. Uh, let's see. What else would I might... What else might I need here? Well, in the future, when I'm going to expand my base, I'm probably going to have um, a brewing stand, and that's... I'm going to have that once I'm going to be able to explore some um, some nether strongholds, or whatever they're called, uh, and that's, yeah, I'm going to have to find some blaze spawners in the nether so I can make uh, a brewing station, and to have a brewing station, I'm going to need to build a mob grinder in my, uh, in the overworld, because I need to get, I can only get, the only place where I can get, uh, the only place where I can get bottles because you need bottles to brew potion is you need, you need uh, either uh, let's see you need either glass or you need to kill witches and then you can get uh that as a rare spot oh there we go there we go oh i didn't really want to kill this dude oh did we get it oh no Let's see. Well, now, as you can see, he only hit our ceiling, so there's not much damage, obviously, because there might be a ghast tier down there. We really gotta go down there. Oh, and there's a ghast, and I mean, there's a magma cream over there. Yeah, how in the heck am I gonna get down there? Uh, let's see. Oh, here's another thing I need to do. I need to craft some... 
I need to craft some ladders. So, oh, I already do have some ladders. So, now these ladders are probably going to be na knocked off by guests a heck ton of times, but uh, I'm still going to have one. So, and just let's just uh, have a little uh, cobblestone block here just in case. Uh, so now let me just put some torches around my base. Uh, I'm gonna place them every two blocks, uh, just like in my base, um, inside my base. So, uh, I can hear the magma cream, uh, I mean, I mean the slime, uh, the magma slime jumping around. Um, let's see, uh, there we go, nice. Um, one, two, torch, one, two, torch, uh, one oh this is yeah this is getting uh this is getting a little bit dangerous here um so let's see one two torch one two yes and i'm gonna have some torches around here because uh around every entrance uh and uh let's see and then this let's place a torch here for aesthetics too uh and maybe one right here. There we go. Just for symmetry. Uh, anyway, uh, so actually, on the other hand, it'd be just better to have uh, a ladder here with a cobblestone block. Um, now I'm also going to be placing around. Uh, let's see. Well, um, I'm just also going to have a ladder here just in case. Uh, I like to have ladders. The more the better. And then a little ladder right here in this intermediate intermediate hallway. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous. That's why I see the freaking gas from over there. Yeah, that's pretty good that, that I uh, was able to dodge that. Now, let's see. Oh, there you are. And there goes my ladder. Uh, okay, where the heck are you? Oh, there we go. Deflected. Oh, there we go. I killed him. Okay, now, another thing that I gotta do is I gotta go down there before... Let me just, uh, take out this fire. Uh, another thing that I gotta do is I gotta go down there before the gas, uh, tears, um, despawn. So, let's go, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's that magma, magma cream that I wanted, uh... Now let's hopefully staircase down here. Now let's just place the torch so I could see because uh, it's a little bit difficult to see here. Uh, now let's mine down there. Uh, now, in the next few episodes, I'm planning on. Um, okay, is it? It's way too high up. Uh, now in the next few episodes, I plan on going to uh, going to try to find uh, a Nether fortress so that I can get some blaze. Uh, blaze rods from blazes and so I could find some blaze spawners from uh, from uh, from the nether fortresses too uh, let me just uh, place this just so in case I don't fall down now when I'm walking down uh, now the rest of the way oh I freaking hate these ghasts uh, let's see uh, freaking hell now where is he hiding? Okay, let's just go. Oh, he's on top. Let's see now. Can we get any gas tears? Oh, looks like it's uh, can we There we go. Oh, nice. Can we find it? Oh, we got some. Uh, we got some gunpowder. But can we find any uh, any uh, gas tears? Now, unfortunately, not. Another thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be collecting some of this uh, some of this glowstone and some of these um, nether quartz or deposits around here. Um, now, I think this episode is getting a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut it off short somewhere soon. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to go over to the overworld. Uh, let's see, okay. Now, I'm a little bit lost here, which is kind of bad, so let's see, where the heck... Oh, I can see that lava stream. Yes, yes, so this is where my, uh, this is where my ascent is. So let's see. Oh, yes, 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 there we go, nice. So, let me just, uh, continue this. Actually, I should probably make this out of, um, cobblestone just because so that gas can't ruin it. Uh, this is also why cobblestone is very much important. But for these support blocks, I'm just gonna use, uh, 
nether rack because there's no reason to uh, waste um, cobblestone on that. Uh, let's see, there we go. Nice, nice. Uh, there we go. Just uh, fill some of this in. There we go. Nice, good. So now this is going to be our little entrance to this area right here, and then we're just going to be able to go up here. It's quite rudimentary, but it allows us to be able to get here. Okay, now, and another thing I don't really like is that our base is a little bit isolated, so if, for example, this area gets cut off by some heavy gassed bombardment, I'm not going to be able to get back to my base uh, and thus reach my portal. So hopefully in the future I'm going to make some... or. Another thing I could do is I make some I can make some uh, cobblestone bridges, but to do that, some of them have to be enclosed because if they're not enclosed, then gas can uh, can fire and destroy them. Let's see. Well, currently, as of now, I'm not really going to do anything with this area. This is just going to be my storage area, and then let's just go back to the overworld and just grab some. Uh, I hope it's daytime in the overworld. Another thing I should probably do is I should make. In case, in case I come out of another portal at night time, I might be able to make a little encasement. Or, actually, one thing that I could do is my future base. So I'm planning to make a really, really large and enclosed base uh, for safety where I can go day and night. And the base is going to be somewhere right over here. And I'm going to have a small tunnel that connects it to this little outhouse where this nether portal is going to be connected. I'm also going to have a little entrance to my old base from some underground tunnels as well. That's just some a few of my uh, a few of my future plans for this let's play. So now one thing that I'm going to do is now we have quite a bit of chests. Now I'm going to make another chest. I'm going to make another double chest. So let's just craft some uh, um, wooden planks. Uh, there we go. Nice. Uh, now let's see where where can we place it. Um, I'll just place it somewhere over here. Uh, so now this is going to be our nether chest. That's where all the nether stuff is going to go to. Now we're running out of arrows quite a bit. Another reason why I'm going to have... Um, this is another reason why I'm going to be building uh, a mob grinder. And actually one of the things that I've been thinking about is I might actually mine and build my base off camera. I might make a time lapse out of it. I did make a time lapse of me building my... Uh, mob grinder in my ocean super flat world survival, so I might as well do it for this uh, survival uh, let's play. But uh, I'm not sure. So, but for for sure, I'm gonna be doing some off-camera work, whether it be mining some cobblestone or building very large bases. Because as I as I know, it's a little bit difficult. I mean, not difficult, but it's not very interesting to see me mining cobblestone for three hours, and I just rather resort that to off-camera work. Um, so, regardless, uh, thank you very much for watching. This was Minecraft, and uh, one quick last note uh, for all of those who actually got to the very end of this Let's Play, and this is probably very few of you. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Another thing is that I, you probably know, I have not been posting in a long time, and that's just because I haven't had much time to post. And the reason for that is because. You know, I've just had so much work. I've recently had my uh, exams and my tests in high school. Uh, I'm a high school student, so obviously I take exams and all my tests. Uh, so to any of you who have been wondering why I have not been posting for as much as uh, longer than three weeks, that's the reason. I've also had some stuff going on in my life, and that made it a little bit difficult to uh, actually think about my YouTube channel and uh, continue making YouTube videos, but I assure you that in the future, now that summer is starting, this is summer 2017, um, I'll have a lot more time to make YouTube videos, and uh, hopefully my YouTube channel will grow. Will grow. Uh, thank you very much for everybody who subscribed to me. I'm not really sure exactly how much subs I have, but I think it's around 5,000. Um, it's kind of difficult. I don't really know what I'm going to do for my 5,000 sub special. I might do a giveaway or something. Uh, but anyway, Thank you, for very, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, those of you who are actually still watching, um, you guys are the real MVPs. Uh, now, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. This was Minecraft, and uh, yeah, see you all in the next video.